the flag. League play. Salutations, everyone. This is Razor here giving you some league play. Here capture the flag on the slums with my Chicom. Doing a capture the flag setup. Got a submachine gun here uh, because it's league play. So, you know, you kind of have to try hard. So everyone's going to be using the try hard guns and weapons setups. So in order for me to be as competitive as possible, because it is a competitive style of play, uh, I put on a uh, submachine gun as well. Um, but I put on the Chicom at least. Um, because, well, one, I like the gun, and, and two, it's, you know, not as strong as, uh, you know, other submachine guns, but still pretty strong. Not gonna lie, it's a strong, good gun. And also, I need that faster mobility for capturing flags, so I'm using extreme conditioning. The only time you'll be seeing me using that, so I sacrifice a lethal grenade in order to get that, and I also need dexterity for when I encounter bitches. And, uh, league play. Let me just talk about, you know, for a bit. In theory, good idea. In theory, it is a good idea. A competitive playlist of, uh, you know, in various game, random game modes, with, with uh, you know, some special rules. That's uh, you know, just you know, screams, you know, being competitive, wanting to win the game, and and you know, having a good time doing it. In theory, that sounds like a good idea. Uh, but in practice, it doesn't work as as well as, as you would think. But sometimes it does. Like in this game, league play worked out the way that it does on paper. No one was doing any bullshit, um, and we were just you know just being competitive, uh, going up against uh, you know uh, I I think these guys were ranked. They were a full team, and this is just a hodgepodge of people thrown together on my team. And we're just, uh, not gonna lie, we go ham on these guys. It's it's not even close. Uh, sure, you know, league play is more, quote-unquote, competitive or whatever, but it's still the same people. It's still the same people. These, these aren't a special class of players here in league play that you only see here and you never face in pub matches. And they're the same guys, so it's, it's gonna be pretty easy most of the time. Uh, the... Instances where league play is going to be difficult for you is when you got a full team of uh, you know PDW MSMC users who are you know using all, all the uh, all the cheap tactics and stuffs that you know is is okay. I understand that you know they want to win or, or whatever, uh, but. You know they're they uh they they try a little too hard. They makes it seem like you know league play actually matters when it, it doesn't. This is an MLG, and people that are good, uh, do, you know, put and perform well in league play shouldn't uh you know let that get to their heads that they can beat a bunch of random ass twelve year olds and feel good about it. Um, I don't feel particularly special that I beat that I beat these guys severely in league play. Um, just because they're the same people that I face in public matches. It's just that it's in a more competitive atmosphere, so they care about winning much more. And, you know, we have to play the objective in order to do that. Um, so that's a different sort of satisfaction when you can beat them. But at, at the same time, it's really no different than, than public matches. Um... So I'm um, just uh, you know wrecking face in their spawn. I really don't have any strategic plans for capture the flag just because I've played so much capture the flag in my Call of Duty career and I'm so damn good at it. It's uh, I, I I don't know if I'm better at capture the flag or domination. I've probably played I've probably played more capture the flag all in all com combining CODs together, but uh, I'm really damn good at domination as well. Uh, not so. I don't think I'm as good in Capture the Flag in Black Ops 2 as, say, I was in Modern Warfare 3 or Black Ops 1. But, uh, you know, still pretty good, still pretty self-explanatory. Kill the people, grab the flag, bring it back, and uh, defend your own. And so with smaller teams, you know, you're going to have to make decisions that you don't make in public matches, which is pretty cool. Makes it more fast-paced and stuff. You can't have... You know, one or two people defending the flag, even though we did have one of those randoms on our team with the KSG was just camping our flag the entire time. Gets like two kills, 
the whole time and was really not contributing all that much. He was just more of a body to throw at the enemies more than anything else. Um, but mostly, you know, in lead play, you, you have to, you know, really allocate your resources because there's not that many people on your team. And as you can see, at the end of one round, we do a bang-up job of taking out the enemy team. Uh, communication is key, especially in uh, in capture the flag. Uh, you know, whoever can get that f get that flag, you have to you know make sure that if they die, someone else can get to it, or you know recapture the flag if it's returned. Return the flag. Make sure your base is clear. You know, j you don't have to be you know straight up defending or straight up capturing the flag in order to uh, to have an impact uh, on the on the end result of the game. You see me all over the place, but at the same time, I don't end up with six captures or, you know, three key returns. You kind of have to be a, a jack of all trades. You have to be able to kill people, and because of the respawn timer, that's a that's a huge thing, especially since there's not that many people. So if you can get a double kill in a key spot and location, uh, then that's going to help your team capture a flag because. There's half of their team is going to be on a respawn delay, and if your teammates can take advantage of that, then you're going to be able to get that flag capture, even though you weren't the one who necessarily grabbed the flag. If you can get uh, those key kills uh, defending the flag carrier or allowing your teammates to get in better positions to return or capture the flag, then uh, you know more power to you. Getting up in the enemy spawn, there's a, a freaking... Hunter killer, not hunter killer, dragon fire, useless ass dragon fire, but at least it keeps some enemies stationary. And here I am just up in their spawn, clearing shit out. Nothing's there, so I'm going to go ahead and grab the flag and capture best I can. Sometimes you just, you don't get a lot of luck. So sometimes you'll, you'll pick up the flag like five times and you get maybe one capture, but your teammates always finish off the last like, you know, 20 feet, you know, so that's going to happen from time to time, but, uh, but mostly, it's still straight up capture the flag, it's just that there's only four people. So you're going to have to allocate your resources a lot more. So that's that's what makes it uh, more competitive uh, and fun to me. Uh, and, and, and that's what makes it a much more different game mode. In that, you know, it's still capture the flag, but you have to play it uh, a, a little differently. You have to be much, much more quicker on your heels and be able to, uh, to do anything that your team demands at the... Uh, at the uh, flip of a coin so we're just dominating these guys uh, i got the b23 secondary here which i normally wouldn't use the secondary in capture the flag but uh since there's only so many of us and i'm using a submachine gun with you know fast mags and suppressor uh, you think that my reloads would be fast enough, but w with the engagements and the uh, the caliber of players, uh, I, I really feel like I need a secondary um, because that's much faster than having to reload your weapon, even though I do have fast mags. It's just that something that y you find yourself in need of more than you would think when you don't have it. You'd be like, man, if I just had any pistol to switch to, that would be better. Any pistol would really work, but the B23... Uh, you know, is one of the one of the quick one of those quicker killing uh, pistols uh, that'll get you done in a pinch. And also, uh, since I'm running a submachine gun without scavenger and a suppressor, so it's going to take more bullets. I'm not going to be uh, privy to a lot of ammo. You know, as you can see right here, I ran out of ammunition with the Chicom, which is usually not going to be a a bad thing that you're really going to be in need of. Uh, more more ammo because if you run an ammo it probably means you're killing the enemy team and it probably means you're capturing flags and that was definitely the case here sentry guns doing what they do if you don't have an EMP class on uh, league play you don't know what you're doing because a sentry gun could make all the difference uh, regardless of if you're playing hard points or capture the flag if you get a sentry gun in the right spot at the right time it can mean the difference between winning and losing so uh just this is just a score streak you know killing at by this point in the game we're up 12 to nothing we got the flag i got my my sentry gun and my lightning strike and my teammates are getting all of their shit done as well as you can see at this point 
we have maxed out sentry guns. We have all the sentry guns that we're allowed to have on the map, so I can't even call on my own. That dude's AFK or something. People in League play, uh, they'll rage quit just as hard as anyone else in pub lobbies. Don't be fooled uh, by what anyone else says. League play people are just as bitchy, just as newbie, just as dashboard friendly as anyone else. You're not going to see as many dashboarders because I think there's some sort of penalty or something when it comes to the points given out in league play. So that's why you see some people just go AFK because they can't dashboard. Um, you know, some of them do. Most of them still do dashboard. Um, but at the same time, some of them don't want to take, uh, you know, whatever penalty it is. I don't know what it is or to what uh, severity it is. But I think it is at, uh, you know, to some degree. Turn on that dude as he's trying to wall bang for who knows what reason. So we get the 14 to nothing victory there on capture the flag slums. My final score is 34 and 10 with three captures and one defend. Hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you next time.